Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to install multiple versions of Ansible into same machine using Python virtual environment. This will be helpful if you have dependency of using a specific version of Ansible or a specific version of Python. And we'll see the difference between Ansible core and Ansible community packages. In Ansible, from version 2.9 to 10, there is a major change happened. In 2.10, we have introduced a new naming for all the core components of Ansible that is called Ansible core and you can see some details in this particular documentation the porting guide and in addition to that they have introduced another naming called Ansible community for all the community developed collections and modules so you can see here modules have migrated to collections on Ansible Galaxy but still the old playbooks will continue to work they recommend to use fully qualified collection names so now there is a clear separation between community developed collections and ansible core components in ansible core you will be getting very minimal packages we'll see those in detail to install ansible you can go to this documentation so here they have given an example of using pip to install it I'll be installing it into this machine you see here I don't have Ansible installed I haven't installed this into the base machine to install this into base machine there are multiple ways one is I can use apt get or I can do pip3 install Ansible I haven't done that we'll create virtual environment and install Ansible into that so first to create virtual environment you need to install package and virtual env so to install that sudo apt install python 3 hyphen pip we give the user password and i have already installed it and if you see my default python it is python 3.10.6 and if you see the installation document to install 2.14 we need minimum 3.9 and if you go to the github page of ansible so this is the version number of ansible core 2.14 and for ansible community there is another version number so this is the version number for ansible community to install ansible community you need to execute this command pip install ansible and to execute and install this by default you will be getting ansible core as well and if you want to install ansible core hyphen core so this is the latest version so if you are going to use only the built-in modules of ansible you can install ansible core so this will be installing very minimal packages or if you want to explore all the other modules you can install ansible and we'll see how to install those in separate virtual environments first you need to install virtual environment package so here we have installed python 3 hyphen pip and now we need to install virtual env so once you execute these commands we can create a virtual environment you can see the details in this particular document installing packages using pip and virtual environment even to create virtual environment there are multiple methods if you want to install a specific package you can give equal to equal to and give the version number so there are multiple examples here so first we'll create a virtual environment i'll create this in the form directory
first we will install the latest version of Ansible community. So I'll create a virtual environment. The command for creating virtual environment is virtual env then hyphen p and python version of local machine if if 3.10 this is a python version available in my machine and we can give a name for the virtual environment i will call this venv1 hyphen ansible latest i'll enter so now this has created virtual environment if you go to this directory you can see new folder has been created and if you check the size it is 10.7 mb so now this contains all the python packages the default python packages and to get into that environment you need to give source venv1 bin activate and if i execute pip list here so this will have very minimal packages so to install the community version you go to the document so here i'll give pip install ansible i'll copy this command and paste it here so now i am installing ansible into this particular virtual environment now installation is successful now if i give ansible hyphen hyphen version this is showing ansible core version if you want to see the community version ansible hyphen community hyphen hyphen version so this has installed 7.2.0 and if you want to see the release history of that you can go to the release history in this page and you will be able to see all the release dates now let us verify the packages inside that to get the list of packages Ansible hyphen doc and we'll give hyphen h. If you give hyphen l here, you'll get the list of available plugins. Give hyphen l. So this will be showing complete available packages. So if you do pip install ansible this will be installing all the community packages as well so there will be more than 7000 modules available and if you want to get the count of it what we can do pipe wc this will give the total lines then word count and bytes and if you want to get only the lines you can give hyphen l so there are 7468 modules available here each collection will have multiple modules so if you want to get the collection list you can give ansible hyphen galaxy collection list so these are the major collections you can see here for cisco itself there are multiple collections available cisco ios ios xr then nx os we can verify in this way now we will try to install only ansible core so i need to deactivate this and we'll create another virtual environment so the command to create virtual environment is virtual env then hyphen p python 3.10 then venv2 and 
we'll call this principle four. Now we'll try to install only core. So Ansible core. And latest Ansible core version is 2.14.2. You can copy this. I'll paste it here. Sorry, I'm trying to install this into base machine. I need to get into this particular virtual environment. I'll give source VTNV to bin activate. Now I'll execute pip install Ansible core. So now this will be installing very minimal packages here. And if you want to see the package list, you can execute same command there are only 74 modules available and to give this you can see most of them are ansible dot built in so now this has installed only 74 module and if you see the folder size so this is 375 MB and this is only 47 MB and if you're going to use only Ansible 4 modules like this built in dot git and URI for API communication and you can see all these module list then you can use Ansible core if you are going to use even other custom modules or maybe community packages you can install community version now we'll see how to install a specific version of Ansible so first I'll Come out of this particular virtual environment i'll create another virtual environment here so i will call this ansible 2.8 folder version i'll install then source venv2 then 2.8 bin activate here you go to the documentation we'll go to the documentation of ansible in the release note or release history you can see the version numbers Two dot eight. We'll check two dot eight. We will install two dot eight dot zero. I'll copy this. installation is successful and now we can check the ansible version ansible hyphen hyphen version so there is no core here you can see it is ansible version and if i give ansible hyphen community there is no community And if you see the packages, Ansible hyphen doc hyphen l hyphen wc. So this is having 
2866 modules available and you can even verify the folder size here I hope now you have a clear understanding on how to install multiple versions of Ansible into same machine using Python virtual environment and the difference between Ansible core and Ansible community. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.